All right, let's do a quick bond valuation. So if I go out somewhere and look for bonds, so like these are uh, PepsiCo, uh, so PepsiCo Inc. Here's a bond right here. It's um, May 14th, and this is due in uh, May 2nd, 2047. So they're about uh, the same time frame. So uh, we'll be able to get a value close to this 97.45 or, or on top of it, depending. Uh, it probably it sometimes rounds off a little bit wrong or there's something else about the bond and you click in and find out about but anyway we're going to pull this uh calculate this bond valuation and you ought to do it in uh, model and quickly in excel so uh what you have is a bond that's due in uh 29 years um basically and the coupon on it is four percent the yield on it right now is 4.152 percent because you're paying a little less than face value of 100 everything in finra uh, which is where I'm pulling this from, uh, is Fender Bond Market is uh, base 100. Um, so this is trading at a discount or a yield slightly higher than normal. So, uh, or slightly higher than par. Uh, and so anyway, our face value, if we just set it to 100, since they value everything at 100, if it's actually a $10,000 bond, 100 equals 10,000, and then you can just move decimals. Uh, N is 29 years, but typically these bonds pay um, uh, two twice a year. So every six months they pay a coupon. Uh, they, the coupon rate was 4%. So we can just do uh, 4% times the face value of the bond. Um, and then the yield is, oh, and we pay twice a year. So divide that by two. So we're doing 58 payments of two, uh, not 29 payments of four. Uh, so uh, $4 a year and two $2 coupons. And then the yield uh, again, we'll have to adjust to the semi-annual 4.152%, uh, 4.152, oh, need equals, equals 4.152% divided by 2. And um, once we have that, then we just have to run the cash flows out. And what's going to happen is you're just going to get a payment of uh, 2 bucks, right? I'm just going to lock that. You're going to get a payment of 2 bucks every um, six months for 50, uh, 58 periods of uh, six months. So let's drag this out until it's 58. 58. And we just fill those $2. Oh, we just filled these $2 payments over like that. And then uh, in the last period, you also get the face value of the bond. Uh, so if you want to tie that back to here, you can in case you want to. Uh, play with the model itself later. So you get $2, $2, $2, $2 a bunch of times, and at the end you get $102. Okay. Uh, and now we just, uh, so that's our cash, uh, cash flow right there. Uh, we discount that cash flow back. So we discount that by taking 1 plus the yield, lock that yield to the power of the string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up there. Okay, and then same thing, I'm going to go up, control right, down, control shift left, control R, okay, fill those over. And then the sum, uh, so our present value equals the sum of the discounted cash flows, like so, 97.45, 088. Like I said, the price right now that it was trading at was 97.45, oh, uh, ours would round to 97.45, one, so it's off by... A fraction of a penny uh, because of the May 2nd versus May 4th uh, uh, due date, and this is May 14th, but uh, close enough. You can also just do uh, a PV formula if you don't want to build the model out. Um, and so it should also, you should be able to do this this way as well, where you, here's your rate um, right here, your uh, in is here, that's many periods, your payment each period is this, your future value is that base value you get at the, the end of the periods, and you hit enter, and there you go, 97.45. Okay, um, so that's how you build a simple bond valuation in Excel.